Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Go Go Power Rangers issue 3. But before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple of updates. Of course, I have Kamiguno episode 209, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. If you like, go check out the exclusive comics in the description below. There will be a link, and the episode will be there too. But let's start talking about Go Go Power Rangers issue 3. Love this cover. So we get to see the Power Rangers fighting putties, and we get a skull and Vulcan Skull uh, just cheering them on in the background. Uh, it's a really cool cover here, but let's start talking about the interior artwork. Uh, I love this artwork. It's so clean. It really expresses uh, the action really well. Of course, the facial expressions. Um, it's just gorgeous artwork and it works so well with uh, Parrot's script. I love the artwork. Hopefully we get to see this creative team stick with this book for a while. Uh, but let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see uh, a couple of things, which I love about Go Go Power Rangers. It's usually not just one relationship they focus on. They really focus on a lot of characters without it making it feel too crowded. Uh, the one I was really impressed with was our opener, where we get to see Billy and Skull slash Eugene were actually good friends growing up. They went to each other's houses, they played uh, Space Pirates, which I really like the artwork over there, where you actually get to see the Space Pirates. And we, we get to see that they were friends, and then it flashes to a normal kind of bullying situation with Billy uh, being bullied by Bulk and Skull. And as the issue goes on, you, you realize, wait, so these childhood friends uh, are now not enemies, but they... they have grown apart and, and you see how they've grown apart and I like towards the end of the issue where Skull's like hey you know it's just all a joke right I don't actually like mean these things for you so you can see that Skull kind of still cares for Billy but still wants to obviously be friends with Bulk so I uh, really like their dynamic and this is something we totally did not see in the show but the comic gives a, a bit of a chance to really get to analyze here um, and of course we get to continue the Trini and Jason uh, relationship where obviously Trini has a crush on Jason and their time together might be dwindling because Jason's like hey you know thanks for helping me out you know testing out these powers but let's bring the rest of the group so we're all prepared and Trini's like yeah awesome because <laughs> obviously Trini has a has a crush on Jason so I, I love that scene too and then even smaller scenes with um with Ernie from uh, the juice bar where we get to see that the juice bar might be closing and we realize now why in the show we see uh, everyone kind of having their own thing at the juice bar where Kimberly's teaching gymnastics and obviously Jason's te teaching karate but all the characters try to help uh, with the volunteering of the juice bar and uh, I call it the juice bar but it's also um, kind of like the volunteer center it's the youth center uh, but I always think about them selling juice there but anyways it's uh it's the the volunteer center but um, I really like that I like that aspect of oh now we know why they were doing all those things at at the center uh, so I enjoyed that but the the relationship I really enjoy the most in this book is the character that's introduced from from just go go Power Rangers which is Matthew so Matthew is starting to notice oh wait my friends have been keeping secrets from me and is it because of Kimberly what's what's going on here and of course the Power Rangers have to keep their secret and this issue really does a good job at hi uh, hiding those heightening those tensions of where in the show the secret identity was an aspect of just like the B story, but it was never really in threat of like, oh wait, maybe maybe people will find out that they're Power Rangers. I think the only time there was really a threat was Bulk and Skull, like maybe like accidentally finding out that they were the Power Rangers, but by the end of the episode they end up forgetting or, you know, being stupid and they, they didn't actually figure it out. But this is actually a threat of their secret identities being exposed as we get to see the villain, the minion, figuring out, all right, well, hey, where's Kimberly? Where's Billy? She's like interviewing people, trying to figure it out. Uh, and she's getting closer. And and by the end, we, we really get to see maybe it's not a good thing that they're keeping this secret because Matthew might get hurt because they don't, they're not telling him that they're the Power Rangers and they could help themselves and, and help everybody because it's Matthew who's like trying to, pull Kimberly to the side and saying, no, you know, I'm your boyfriend, I'm going to help you. Kimberly's like, no, you really don't need to do that. And Matthew ends up getting hurt by the end. So Kimberly's really in 
and Dilemma. What does she do? Does she tell Matthew that they're the Power Rangers or does Matthew uh, continue to grow apart from his girlfriend and his friends? So a lot of interesting drama with this book. And I again, I love how much they squeeze into the story here. As you can see, there's just so much going on, but in a great way. It never feels crowded uh, and it just gets me excited to read more issues. I love this book and this is my pick of the week. Um, I am a huge Power Rangers fan and I think this is some of the best Power Ranger stories we have gotten from the franchise in my opinion. At least it's the stuff I really like from the Power Rangers. A really great mix of Power Ranger action but also uh, regular high school drama uh, and superhero drama which I love. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was my pick of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, like I said and this is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there are links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter and I'll see you guys later. Bye.